morning guys it's Friday and I decided to do my vlog for the week today um, actually after today next week will be my last vlog because I'm only vlogging in the summer because vlogging is way easier for me to do than like a sit-down style video um, I actually don't like to vlog I really don't I only do it um, because I know that you guys like them. Um, when Grady goes back to school, I'm not saying I'm never going to vlog, but I'm definitely not going to vlog weekly. Um, I'm only doing it, like I said, because you guys like them. But anyways, it's Friday. I've gotten a ton of stuff done. I don't even know what time it is. It's 10.30 and I've cleaned my whole house, but I have been up since 5, so... Um, I cleaned, Grady got up early, so um, normally I would wait to like obviously turn on the vacuum and stuff until he wakes up, but um, he woke up early like at 6, but I got the whole house cleaned, top to bottom, I got um, a load of laundry washed and hung up, because um, I hang on my clothes, and Grady wants to show his book, hold on, let me show his favorite book, which we read 20 times a day. Um, but yeah, I got laundry done. I only have two loads left for the weekend that I have to do. I have my dishwasher fully loaded. That's running. Um, I got ready. I got dressed. I did my hair, my makeup. I straightened my hair today, um, even though it's going to be really humid. But um, today is the coldest it's been in a long time. It's going to be like 86 today, but it's going to be really humid. Wow. And my kids just driving me nuts today. Um, so yeah, one thing I am working on today is I want to challenge myself to spend like $30 or under on groceries because I'm tired of saying to myself and you guys, oh, I'm going to work on purging my freezer or my pantry or whatever. And then I keep buying more stuff. So then all the stuff that I wanted to purge just gets it gets keep moving like it gets it keeps moving further and further to the bottom of the freezer does that make sense so something I'm gonna work on today in the vlog um, is literally digging deep into the freezer both my freezers the one in the garage and the one in the house and coming up with a meal plan using stuff that's literally at the bottom of the freezer obviously if it's not bad um, because I'm tired of every week buying things and then like I said everything else gets pushed to the bottom so my goal this week is spend $30 or under on groceries which is just gonna be necessities I have a small list it just things like eggs bread half and half yogurt fruit things like that I, I'm not gonna buy any meat I'm not really trying to buy like snacks um, so that's what I'm one thing I'm working on today along with a meal plan based off of, you know, like I said, for, uh, freezer things and pantry things. Um, I have a couple errands to do today. I have to go to a mall, uh, the mall, and return something. And I also want to go to Bath and Body Works because they have, like, some new things out. Um, and I just want to look. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to buy anything or not. If I do, it wouldn't be for me. But I want to look there. Um, I just lost my train of thought today. It's... It's only like 10.30, guys, and I feel like it's 5 o'clock at night because I'm literally going nonstop from 5 o'clock in the morning, no joke. Anyways, I'm going to um, get rolling. i got to get everything packed up to go, and then I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Um, we just have some random errands and stuff to do, so we'll take you along with us for the day. Okay, so we are home from Walmart where I had to get the groceries um, and the mall. So I'm just going to unpack my cooler. Because we went to Walmart first, and then we had to go to North Carolina to the mall. So I had to bring a cooler to make sure it stayed cool. Got like three pounds of grapes. I'm like so obsessed with, obsessed with grapes right now. Some yogurt for Grady. I got some Annie's fruit snacks, which Grady decided he likes again. Some tortillas for both quesadillas. And I like to make... um grilled stuffed like sandwiches like hot sandwiches um, with these I got some beer for my husband well it's not really beer it's more like strawberry ale beer I guess for my husband for the weekend I got some eggs a dozen eggs in here 
and I got some zucchini, some cheddar cheese, and some half and half. And then all I have to get um, this weekend is cold cuts for my husband's lunches and a fresh loaf of bread. Okay, so Bath and Body Works. Um, I had a 20% off coupon. I had a, a coupon as well that I could combine for a free travel item of any uh, scent. So I picked this Sonoma Weekend Escape. It smells so good. So this was free, which was cool because these are originally five bucks. So that was free. They gave me some coupons. Yes, I will show what you have in a minute. Um, when I did my giveaway for my antibacter antibacterials, I didn't, I, I didn't realize at the time, but I didn't get myself a holder um, because I gave them all away. So I went and got myself one um, because I don't have any. Um, I have a couple of these, but I don't have a holder. So I got this little owl holder, which is super cute. And then I got two um, of the new scents. I got the California Citrus and Sunshine, which is from the Vineyard Collection. And then I got the Crisp Morning Air, which is like a pre-fall scent. Um, and they said they were releasing their fall stuff very soon. So I'm super excited about that. And then I got a loofah, kind of random, but I actually need one because the loofah that I have now is like all like falling apart, if that makes sense. It's, I think it's like a f several months old. So um, it was only $3.50, but I had the, the coupon. So I got a new loofah. Um, the antibacterials and then I got these hand soaps which are they smell so good guys these are all from the vineyard collection so I got the ripe raspberry vine the California and citrus sunshine the Napa Valley sunset and then the white um, peach chardonnay and these um, I actually thought they were gonna be a lot more expensive but they were only 650 and then I had the 20% off coupon which was nice because I got an ad additional amount off that um, I also got one more of these for a friend of mine but I'm not gonna show it in case she sees the video so I got these which will last me quite a while um, I usually have four going at once because I have one in, so I'll keep, I keep one in my kitchen one in um, the master bathroom, one in Grady's bathroom, and one in the downstairs bathroom. So I do have four soaps always going at once, so they don't last that long. Um, so that is what I got at Bath and Body Works. And then in the mail, um, regular mail, I got um, some stuff that I ordered. I ordered this washi, let me see what it's called. It is from Shabby Chick Crafts, and it is the grab bag of washi stickers. I think there's like 140 pieces, like 140 stickers total, but there's like all different stickers, which I thought would be fun for my planner. So I have all of these. I got my Lily Pulitzer catalog in the mail, and then I have, um, oh, and I also got uh, my friend Emily, who is super sweet, sent me this Donatella little coin purse, which is so cute. I love this, so adorable. Um, so that was what I got in the mail today. And then I have a UPS delivery coming later today for my Sephora order, which I will show you guys later. Um, it is 1.30 and we are gonna have lunch and I'll show you guys what we're having. It's lunchtime and we're having quesadillas because I wanna use up the rest of the chicken filling. So Grady's having just a cheese and chicken quesadilla with some grapes, he already ate some, and then a little juice. And I'm about to make a quesadilla for myself with some grapes, and then I have some leftover Spanish rice from last night, so I'm gonna get that going and show you what it looks like. And mommy's lunch is chicken quesadilla as well. I used the last of the chicken, so I stuffed it really full, and some leftover Spanish rice from last night. And then I don't have any more taco sauce we ate, we used it all last night to dip. So I'm using some pineapple salsa, just Chi Chi's pineapple salsa to dip the quesadilla in, and I'm having a Diet Dr. Pepper, and I'm probably just gonna have like a small handful of these grapes. I am starving, so I'm gonna dig in and I'll check in with you later. Okay guys, so lunch is done. I just have to clean up the um, lunch dishes. I'm working on unloading the dishwasher. I'm almost done. Um, so I'm doing that. I gotta clean off his high chair tray. And then I just have to quickly clean my stove top, just wipe it down. And I use um, this on the stove top and it works really, really well. The barkeeper's friend, the spray version. So I just spray it right on here and it gets like all the gunk off and everything. So, um, like I said, I'm just working on cleaning up from lunch, unloading the dishwasher, and then I'm gonna sit down and do my meal plan for next week using what I have in the house on hand. Okay guys, so I just took a real quick inventory. Um, 
in my freezer for meat. So between both freezers, the one in my kitchen and the one in the garage, for meat that I need to use up first, I have a pound of ground sausage. Um, I have eight individual, uh, individually marinated chicken breasts. I have four large pork chops. I have four hamburgers, like the frozen hamburgers, and I have a pound of ground turkey. Okay, and then non-meats in the freezer that I need to use up. I put, I have two bags of shredded hash browns, two pie crusts, hamburger rolls, which will obviously go with the hamburgers, and then I have frozen mixed vegetables that I have to use up. In my pantry to use immediately, I put potatoes to remind myself. Um, and actually, I took them out of the pantry and put them in this bowl. So they're on the counter right in front of me so I can't forget about them. Because potatoes are something I forget about if I don't have it in my eye, you know, in my sight. So what I'm going to do now is use this list of the, these are, again, these are all the things that I need to use this week to make meals with. So I'm just going to use this piece of paper to kind of work off this and do a meal plan. So I will be back with you after this is all filled out for the week. Okay guys, so this only took me about 10 minutes um, to do this. So like I said, I worked off of this list to create a meal plan for next week. Um, and what I'll do is this yellow piece of paper, this list will end up getting transferred onto my meal planning board, which obviously we're still in the current week that we are in. Um, and I actually made everything on this list so far except for pork chops on the grill um, with the side of the fried cabbage, which I could obviously make tonight. Um, I don't know why there's a reflection. I think it's my pendant light. Um, I could obviously make this tonight, but actually I'm kind of still up in the air about what to make tonight. Um, I do have some leftover, so if I don't make this tonight, that's okay because I have a pork dish for next week. So again, everything on here will get transferred on here. I'm telling you guys that because this week there's not going to, or this weekend there's not going to be a grocery haul or a meal plan because I'm sort of doing this now because I want pretty much the whole weekend free to have fun with my boys. Um, okay, so meal number one, this is going to be in no order. I'm going to use the ground sausage from this list. Um, I transferred it over here. For, I'm going to make a ground sausage frittata um, right in the frying pan. I'm going to use some of the potatoes that are in that bowl on the counter. So I'll do fried ground sausage with sliced potatoes and whatever fresh veggies I have in my fridge from the garden. And then I will put scrambled eggs and cheese on top of it. And it'll be like one big huge frittata slash omelet in a, in a pan. It's going to be huge. So that'll be one whole dinner with everything right in it already. The protein, the meat, the veggies, and all of that. Um, the second meal I'm going to use use probably half, so four of the individually marinated chicken breasts. Um, we'll do those on the grill. I'll make a toss salad on the side, and actually I found some pierogies that I need to use up in my freezer in the kitchen, so I'll do pierogies with that meal. So that takes care of half of the chicken breasts. And then for the third meal, I'm going to do my pork sauce, which I've done a um, cooking video on in the crock pot and just boil some pasta with that. And then I will just do a cucumber and tomato salad from the garden. And then for number four, I'm going to do burgers on the grill, which again comes off here with um, the hamburger buns that I have frozen. I'll make fries in the oven and I'll do some mixed veggies on the side. So that takes care of the hamburgers. And then for the ground turkey, um, I'm going to do on meal number six, Italian wedding soup, which calls for meatballs, and I'll just use ground turkey to make the meatballs. And then skipping back up to number five, I'm going to make hash brown casserole because I have two bags of the shredded hash browns, and then I'll do French toast with some kind of fruit on the side. And meal number seven, I'll probably have leftovers from all of this, so if I don't have leftovers, I'm already going to plan on making this weekend a batch of homemade tomato soup because we literally have a ton of fresh tomatoes ready to pick in the garden. So I'm going to make a batch of that. If I don't have it next week, I will freeze it for the week after. Um, so yeah, that is what I just accomplished. I am really happy because I only spent $30 on groceries this week. And then now I'm just going to transfer this onto here. It is already three o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know what else is going on, but I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, it's like 3.30 and um, the UPS guy just came. So I got my Sephora order. I got this. I'm so excited about this. Um, it's the Jaclyn Hill um, Becca highlight in champagne pop. Um, 
and I love Jaclyn Hill. But um, I tried this, I saw it um, in her video, and then I tried it on in the store, I don't know, last week, I think, and it looked amazing. Look how pretty that is for a highlight. So I can't wait to play with this um, because at first when I saw it, I didn't think it was going to work on my skin because my skin is pretty dark um, and Jaclyn Hill's pretty fair. But when the girl tried it on me in the store, I was surprised that it looked really good. Um, so I'm excited about this and I think it was like $38. Let me see if I have my invoice. It doesn't say on the invoice, of course. I think it was like 38 bucks, but um, I don't own a highlight at all. So... Um, I could justify this because I don't have anything like this. I have no highlighters at all. I just have a bunch of bronzers and stuff. So I'm excited to st um, start wearing this tomorrow. Um, I just had to get my Brow Wiz, which I use on my eyebrows. Um, I'm in the color dark brown. It used to be brunette. Yes, dark brown, which again used to be brunette. They changed the names. I swear by this thing. If I didn't have a Brow Wiz, I would have like no eyebrows because I pluck my eyebrows like crazy. And then... Um, I did redeem a couple of my, I had the um, Beauty Insider points, and I'm most excited about this. It is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana um, for her, and this is the black one. They have black and white, and I smelled this, oh God, a while ago um, in, the, in a full-size bottle, but I wasn't ready to pull the trigger on it, the full-size bottle. Only because, guys, I have so many perfumes, but this I could justify because, for one, it was free because I had the beauty points. I have like 900 and something points left. I redeemed 100 for this, and this is great for my handbag, and it smells really, really, really nice. Um, and this one is Violet Sandalwood Vanilla, but it's not musky to me. Um, so I'm excited about this for my purse, so that was nice to redeem my points for that. Um, this was a free promotion. It's the Makeup Forever, the Ultra um, HD foundation. It looks a little dark on camera, but again, I'm, I have pretty dark skin. Um, so I'm hoping this will work for me, but if not, it was, it was a freebie. Um, but it's nice because it's got the pump top, just like a full-size bottle. And if I really love it, then I know that I can purchase it down the road. Um, right now I use the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, um, which looks a little bit lighter than this to me, but sometimes the bottle can be deceiving. So I got that as a freebie, which is nice to try something um, before spending the money on it because Makeup Forever is not cheap. And then I also redeemed some points for this. Um, it's a Buxom brand um, eyeshadow bar, and this was also 100 points, and it's really pretty. Let me see if I can get it show, to show true to color. It's like a shimmery, light tan gold. And again, this was 100 points to redeem. I still have 900 and something left. So I'm waiting for um, some other options to pop up. And then I got my uh, three free samples, as always. I picked a Ralph Lauren blue for my husband. It's just a cologne spray thing um, that he likes. And this, my husband, I know he likes this. Um, he's liked this scent for years, and so do I. It's uh, Aqua Di Gio, um, Giorgio Armani spray. And again, I love the free samples. And then this is another um, free sample. I cannot pronounce that. Sud Magnolia. I'm not going to pretend to pronounce that word, but it's just a vial um, perfume spray. So that is my little Sephora order, but I, I always love that even just ordering these two things and everything else was free. I mean, obviously I redeemed the points, but I just love all the little freebies that Sephora gives you. This was a really nice little perk. So yeah, um, like I said, it's a little after 3.30 now. Got to figure out what I'm doing for dinner. My husband will be on his way home in a little while, and that's about it. Grady is, he was playing trains, but now he is playing with my phone. And I'm watching the Food Network. Well, more like for background noise. And that's all that's going on here, guys. Okay, so it, um, my battery's gonna die on my camera. Um, I just called my husband to see what he wanted me to make for dinner or if he had any ideas because I'm just at a loss tonight. I just don't feel like pork chops even though that's the last um, meal on my meal plan. And actually he said that his boss and his boss's wife wanted to see if we wanted to go to dinner with them. So um, I think we're gonna go because I like his boss. I'm, I don't wanna say I'm friends with his boss's wife, but we're 
friendly, if that makes sense. Um, I've met her several times. Um, we've been to their house. I don't know, I just, I really like her. So we're probably gonna do that. So now I just have to figure out what I'm gonna wear, where we're going. Um, he's, he's on the phone right now with his boss figuring out where they wanna go. And they're gonna meet us. They, his boss lives like almost an hour from here. Um, and it wouldn't make sense for my husband to leave where he works, come all the way home, take a shower, get ready, and then all of us drive an hour back because it'll be Charlotte rush hour, which is pointless. So his boss and his boss's wife are gonna meet us halfway somewhere which is nice because then we can avoid even getting on the highway um, because Charlotte rush hour on a Friday is no joke. So, um, it's almost four o'clock. I'm going to end the vlog here because my battery's gonna die. I have to change my clothes. I'm gonna probably freshen up my hair, freshen up my makeup. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the champagne pop on um, my makeup. I gotta get Grady ready and then, yeah, that's about it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed my second to last vlog for the summer. Next week I'll do one last vlog and then the week after that Grady starts school and that's the week where I'm going to kick off my cooking series. So unfortunately for those who love vlogs, I'm sorry, but we'll have one more vlog next week and that's it because I really, like I said earlier, I don't really like doing vlogs. I only do them to make you guys happy. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't that eventful of a day. But I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you guys in my next video, and then I'll see the rest of you in my next vlog next week. Bye, guys.